Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about a plugin or add-on that is a lot used for you when you're working with Visual Studio Code and especially with HTML. Because I've been working with HTML for quite some time and also with JavaScript and I do work with HTML on Visual Studio Code as well and it is a pain when you're working with tags, which means when you're writing a tag, you have to open a tag, you have to close a tag, right? So this closing a tag is a very pain because you have to do it manually every time and it cause, uh, you know, sometime missing of the tags and then it is a problem afterwards. So there is a plugin in Visual Studio Code that is called auto close tag, which helps you to close the tag automatically whenever you are writing it. And it saves some time and also easier work. So I'll show you what exactly the tag is or the plugin is. So you have to go to the extension section over here. And if you go here initially, you have to type auto close and you can see the first one that's coming up here is called auto close tag that is 0.5.9 version and if you click on this it says automatically add html slash xml close tags same as view studio id or sublime text so it automatically closes it as it says over here and it has some description over here like what exactly it is all about usage and xyz things so you can just see it over here as well that they are writing something and then it changes automatically. So that's a cool feature about that. So as of now, we'll just simply install it. So we'll click on install. You see it's installing. The extension is enabled globally, which means it is enabled now for all the uh, workplaces. So I'll close it now. I will just go to my um, files. I'll close this again and open the file again here. And let's try to write a tag. So I'll just enter it here. Open this and I'll say H2. I'll close this and you can see yes this backslash h2 has already been uh, open here which means uh, it has placed the closing tag over here for h2 which means we only written the opening tag for h2 and it has closed it now let's try for another thing that is p that is for paragraph and you can see yes it has also added it over here so this plugin is a great use for you when you're working with html and xml as i told you previously because it helps to save time and also to avoid some errors while while coding and also it provides a lot of feasibility going forward. So this add-on, I will always recommend to have it handy with you whenever you're working cross. So that's all about this session. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do like, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.